where other parishes may have diminished in their um, population that for religious education or parish life, ours has really grown over the last few years and is really maintaining itself. I had read something about using your gifts, giving them back to God, and so I signed up to be a catechist. And um, they had an opening in the high school class, and I'm a lawyer, and I thought that's a great, that's a match made in heaven. So I love that we talk about stuff that no one really has an answer to, and it's part of, I think, really maturing in your faith is questioning and struggling and just keep coming back and having the discussion. Part of the joy of, of our religious education program is really working with parents, helping parents really to understand that they are the primary faith formators, and it's around their dinner tables that the children really learn to know Jesus. Religious education is a, it's a critical cornerstone. It's not just about understanding the importance of kindness, of caring for someone in the way that Jesus would want us to, but actually being obliged to do that work. It's the experience, the action that teaches the lesson. They're encouraged to raise questions and to have meaningful responses that gives the children the impetus, I want to go to religious education class on Sunday. I don't need to be dragged. I want to be there. My husband and I actually um, went through the RCIA process at Holy Trinity. It was a tremendous place to do it. Holy Trinity does an incredible job. As we started a family here, we became very close to some of the priests who were involved in the RCIA process. They gave us tremendous guidance for our marriage and for starting a family and for our lives. And, and now that we come with our children on a regular basis, it's such a joyful community to be a part of. And we're so excited that our kids see so many other families with young children like ours every Sunday coming to church. The marriage prep that we did here before we got married, obviously, was very uh, different from what I thought it was going to be. We had this couple who'd already... The Gallagher's? Uh, the Gallagher's, yeah. yes. It's been so useful to us to take the lessons that they had shared to us about how their relationship has worked out over the 20, 30 years that they had been together. Just to be reflective and to really communicate with each other and kind of us versus the problem, rather us versus each other. I got married here and I have an interfaith marriage, so we had um, a Catholic, really a convalidation here and then a Jewish ceremony later on. Everybody was very welcoming of him. We went through pre-Cana here and uh, he ended up being one of the most active participants, I think, in our class. Um, I think that shows his level of comfort. I think it shows the universality of the different topics that were addressed without making anyone feel like um, the lessons that we were learning or the ways we were trying to get to know each other weren't applicable to everyone. When our daughter was born, um, Sophia, who Me. has Down syndrome, um, th our local church wasn't really meeting her needs uh, for religious education. And so we were looking around for a place where we could find a community where we felt comfortable with her if she wasn't quiet and... Um, yeah, I'm quiet. I walk. <laughs> you like to walk. Really like to ah! <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, to help us find ways to develop her spirituality um, and to communicate with her because uh, some of the typical religious education didn't really fit the bill for her. We came here and uh, we talked to Father Greg. The first thing he said to me was, wow, that must be a, a really tough life change. It sounds like you're doing a great job. And I mean, I started to cry. I hugged him and I felt bad because <laughs> I think he just didn't even know where that came from. And uh, he didn't uh, understand kind of what an impact his words had had. But that brought me right back to this church and made me want to, you know, be part of the community and to be Catholic again and, and just to be here.